It's the nation's largest loss of life for firefighters since 9-11. And once again, it reminds us of the amazing work these brave men and women do under the most extreme conditions. The Granite Mountain Hotshots. Considered among the best of the best who would be deployed to the front lines of the most dangerous firefights. The elite firefighting group lost 19 of its 20 members on Sunday, battling a fast-moving wildfire. One official said it would have taken a, quote, perfect storm, unquote, to overtake these men who train to exacting standards and pride themselves on recognizing danger and staying safe. It appears heavy winds blew the fire on top of the crew. Safety bags, like the ones shown here in a previous training demonstration, are used as a last chance option when faced with an oncoming fire. Details from the scene show some members of the team perished inside their safety bags, while others weren't able to make it to their bags at all. They say, quote, we are routinely exposed to extreme environmental conditions, long work hours, long travel hours, and the most demanding of fire line tasks, unquote. Part paramedic, part lumberjack, each hotshot knew he could be living out of a backpack for weeks on end. Friends and family who gathered at a local middle school understood the severity of the men's jobs, saying, they were up there doing what they normally do. They died heroes. In a statement, President Obama said, we are heartbroken about what happened, adding that America's thoughts and prayers go out to the victims' families. Firefighters continue to battle this uncontrolled blaze in triple-digit heat. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel.